The Galaxy Note 9 was released August of 2018, and with the Galaxy Note 10 right around the corner, I think it's about time we revisit the Note 9 and find out, is it still worth it in 2019? Let's get the biggest thing out of the way right off the bat. The Galaxy Note 9 has seen a substantial price drop and you can get one for 699 bucks, brand new, unlocked. And if you're cool with like a used or a refurbished unit, they go all the way down to like $429. Uh, links down below, of course. Outside of the price, the Note 9 is still a great looking phone. It does have some bezels compared to phones like the S10 Plus or the OnePlus 7 Pro, but it still looks a hell of a lot better than the Pixel 3 XL, <laughs> in my opinion. I've had it since it was released, and while it's not my everyday phone, I've used it consistently over the last year, and it's held up incredibly well. Sure, it has some scratches and scuffs, but for a large phone entirely made of glass, I say it's held up excellent. I think some of it has to do with the fact that I'm using a colorware skin, which not only adds a thin layer of protection, but it also makes the Note 9 look flame and Cheeto hot. Make sure to check the link in the description if you want to save some money and pick up a colorware skin for yourself. There's a code down there. I almost forgot to mention the IP68 rating on the Note 9. It's definitely legit since I've submerged this phone a ton and it still works perfectly fine. Ever since the Note 9 was released, I gotta say, it's received consistent updates every month that fixed features that already existed but also added some new ones to the Note 9. Performance wise, it's pretty much just as smooth now as it was day one, which is saying a lot for an Android phone and in specific, a Samsung phone. One UI and Android P really helped here by bringing a more optimized experience and introduced things like digital well-being, adaptive battery, adaptive brightness, and navigation gestures. What's even better is that Samsung has stated the Note 9 is eligible and will receive Android Q. Supposedly it's geared for a February 2020 launch, but we'll see because delays happen all the time. Whatever the case is, it's just nice to see Samsung fully supporting their devices and the Note 9 has received consistent updates, which is awesome. Hardware-wise, the Note 9 is no slouch. It's not as powerful as the 855 or the 855 Plus, but it's completely capable. I mean, if my Note 9 is still running this smooth, it should tell you something. The six gigabytes of RAM is plenty for most, but I have noticed a little lag here and there whenever there's quite a few apps open. Closing background apps can fix this usually or just simply restarting the phone. Whatever the case may be, it's fully capable of running the latest version of Android, the latest apps, or the latest games, hell, whatever you wanna throw at it. The heat is controlled extremely well thanks to the large water cooling system that it has on board. The display is gorgeous and is easily on the top 10 best smartphone display list. It's bright when it needs to be. It gets incredibly dim during the times you don't need all that light bright goodness. It supports HDR content and when combined with the Dolby Atmos support, viewing content and consuming content is just incredible. Thanks to its large 6.4 inch size and boxier design, you do have plenty of room for S Pen activities. Speaking of, the S Pen is still fantastic, still works just as good as it ever has, and all of the standout features like triggering the camera shutter are still there. Even though Qualcomm's in-display fingerprint scanner is found on the Galaxy S10, the Note 9's rear fingerprint scanner works perfectly fine, and I feel it's faster at times. Speaking of the fingerprint scanner, the Galaxy Note 9 might very well be the last Samsung phone you see with a retina scanner on it. The battery life is still legit, thanks to its massive 4,000 mAh size. I can average between four and a half to five and a half hours of screen on time, with about 10% or more remaining at the end of the day, which is a little bit of a decrease since I first got the phone, but honestly, I'd still call that legit. The Note 9 features Quick Charge 2.0, but if you have a more powerful charger than what's included in the box, it does charge a little bit faster, but honestly, I would avoid this to prolong the battery health. In terms of wireless charging, it does support 10 watt fast charging, which I've been using as the primary way of rejuicing my Note 9. This leads us to the camera. When the Note 9 first came out, it already had a pretty good camera, but with that string of updates from last year into this year, it's really improved the Note 9's camera quite a bit. This includes improvements to picture quality, brightness of faces in backlit environments, day and night HDR control accuracy, low light brightness, improvements to the signal to noise ratio in low light environments, adding the ability to switch between standard and wide angle view for selfies. And they also pushed out a dedicated night mode in many countries, but here in the US, we're still waiting on that. So uh, I would like my night mode now. All in all, I would say the Note 9 camera can hang with the best of them. Despite being a year old, it actually outperforms some of the most recent flagships in many situations. It's incredibly consistent, and thanks to those updates, the experience has improved quite a bit. 
Video quality is also stellar. Whether you're just shooting 1080p or 4K, I think you're gonna be happy with the quality. The 4K 60 frames per second looks incredible, even for a year old phone. I still think the dual aperture is a bit gimmicky and the low light capabilities could be a little bit better. However, that's extremely nitpicking. Considering the Note 9 initially released with the price tag of a thousand bucks, and now you can grab one for under $500, depending on the condition and where you're looking, it would be stupid not to recommend this phone in 2019. If you're upgrading from a Galaxy S8 or earlier, the Note 9 will feel refreshing. And if you're not worried about grabbing the Note 10, this will easily last you until the next iteration. Well friends, what did you think? Is the Note 9 worthy of a 2019 purchase? Sound off down below in the comment section. While you're down there, respond to the pinned comment and ask me anything you want. Did you like the video? If you did, consider giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos just like this one. And I will talk to you new Note newbies in the next video.